Hi guys, this is my FlySky FS T4B transmitter that I use as my first choice on most of my models because it's just very simple, nothing clever to it at all. Um, it uses eight AA batteries. And I was wondering whether I could swap them out for a LiPo battery because 8 times 1.5 is 12 volts so a fully charged 3S battery should give us the right voltage to run it. So I was wondering about using one of my other favourites these Poundland disposable power pods. I've done various things with them in the past. That one's got a on little charger board on it so you can charge that from a USB supply and use it. I've used them for quite a few things. Um, I can't see it at the moment. I've got a battery I put together for my uh, robot war shunt that needed uh, seven volts, I think it was, or seven and a half volts. Anyway, so I've done this several times. People who've watched my videos will have seen me do this. Take your power pod and you rip it apart. And inside, according to the labelling, you've got a 650 milliamp hour LiPo battery, which sometimes is stuck in place and sometimes comes out quite easily. You've got a little power control board there with an on off switch on it. Big Clive has done a nice video on how you can make use of this. This one appears to have a bit of white powder on it from somewhere. Anyway, so three and a half volts. What would be really nice would be if they just fitted in that way. But they're just a little bit too big. They won't quite fit. I mean, if I removed all the tags, metal tags, you might be able to get it in there. I don't really want to do that. Have a look, see if they come out easily. So what I really want to be able to do is, yeah, in fact, I won't do that. What I really want to be able to do is have the choice. If the LiPo battery goes flat while we're out there, then I really want to be able to whip it out and put revert back to ordinary alkali batteries. So, we want three of these. What I was starting to say is it'd be nice if we just put three in there like that, but it's not going to fit in there neatly. So I think we can get two in on top of each other and another one there. And I was wondering whether I could get a lipo alarm in there as well. And that doesn't look like that's going to work either. That's a shame. them in that way. I think we can only get two on top of each other. I think three would be too deep and we won't get the top on.
because these are inside a plastic container, this is the bare metal um, battery there, and the positive terminal is actually connected to that surface. So that's worth knowing if you're playing around with it. In one of my videos, I did actually manage to short out the battery by contacting the outer, outer surface. So we had a little bit of smoke, which was fun. Yeah, if you let the neg negative terminal touch the outside, then you've got a short circuit. In fact, to be safe, because we've got open terminals now, we'll just nip these off. I think three on top of each other is going to be too thick. might work. It is going to be a tight fix. We've got to insulate each one of them before we put them together. Because <laughs> if we want them in series, we're going to have to go positive to negative, positive to negative. And if you actually strap them together like that, you've actually got a short circuit. So I'm going to have to insulate them before I put them together. I've got some of that uh, proper tape. Captain, Captain, Cap, I can't remember what it's called. We can, yeah, if we can get them in like that, then we can have the lipo alarm in there as well. Logically, I just need to insulate the middle one and then they'll be held apart from each other. I'm not recommending anybody tries to do this. I expect there'll be plenty of comments telling me all the reasons this is a bad idea. I'll give it a double layer just to be on the doubly safe side. in it. I think I'll take the cover off and have a little look there, see if we can cut that out so we can set that in a little bit more. 
Well, the simple answer there is that's where the control board is, surprisingly enough. So if we cut any of this area out, we're encroaching on there. Or we go the easy way and we just stick the battery on the outside. Then I don't need to cut anything. And we can have the lipo alarm sitting on the outside as well. Then it's all visible and easy to work with. I've had a few thoughts and I think the sensible option is just solder on the connector for a LiPo battery to the positive and negative, try it out with a 3S battery and check that it works. Seems logical, doesn't it? And then carry on and finish making that 3S battery and whether I decide to fit it inside or externally is something I can look at later. So, very simply, having done everything that I've looked at so far, I'll just solder a lead on here and plug a 3S LiPo in there and see if it works. Before I cover it up with tape, I'll just show you. So this is those three LiPo cells out of the power pods. So I've got negative is going to the negative lead of my connector and also the first negative or the first black one on the balance lead then the second negative is connected to the positive of the first so positive to negative and then that negative goes to the second black on the balance lead and then the positive of that battery is going to the negative of that one. And then that black lead is going to the third black lead on the balance lead. And then the positive is going to the red lead on the balance lead and the red lead on my connector. So I'll put some tape around that to hold it all together. But I've done it so they're all coming out. There we are, get it in camera so we can see it. I've done it so they're all coming out on the same side. Oh, I'm not watching the camera, am I? So I've wired it up so all the wires are coming out on the same side. And they're all the right length. So I'll put some tape around that now to protect it. So we'll just check that with the alarm, lipo alarm, make sure we get it the right way round, negative at this end, so it looks like the middle one is a little bit low, but we've got 12 volts there. So, LiPo battery, straight in the back of my transmitter. I find I do need to oil them quite a bit, because they're only bicycle spoke. Um, propeller shafts and they do tend to get a bit rusty in the shafts because I haven't recharged that since I last used it so. That might be a bit low as well. 
Anyway, the simple thing is, transmitter is working on a 3S LiPo. Whether I choose to fit it inside or externally is the next question. It's actually dropped quite a bit of power there. I can't, I can't imagine that the transmitter draws much current, so I think it just needs a bit of charging. A bit of balance charging to sort it out. Well, I've been running this on the LiPo battery. Uh, probably left it switched on for the best part of an hour. I don't think you'll be able to see the numbers on the screen there. Still on 12.1 volts overall. So, yeah, it looks like it's worked. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily. So don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.